good morning dear students we are going with the reading of the chapter poets and pancakes and yesterday we finished all over this point and uh, here we discussed that uh, uh, what were the characteristics of subhu's character and lastly the line ended that uh, this one there was this man in the makeup department who would wish the direct things for subu it means it was the office boy who observed the things on the behalf of the position but some time or at some point uh, the office boy didn't observe that subu had been working in this gemini studio from its first day and he had a great experience to deal with the situation different kind of situation i should say so now next one you saw subu always with the boss subu is number 2 so he remains with boss always but in the attendance roles he was grouped under a department called the story department now we have a discussion about story department so be also a part of this one comprising a lawyer in this department who is a lawyer subu and an assembly of writers and poets and some other people like writers and poets the lawyer was also officially known as a legal advisor this lawyer is in story department and he is a legal advisor but everybody referred to him as the opposite but in this department store department everybody thinks that this person is opposite to the department an extremely talented actress okay now we have discussion about an actress who was also extremely temperamental means so tempered once blew over on the sets one day he got frustrated c sorry c got frustrated or c got angry while everyone stood stunned surprise the lawyer quietly switched on the recording equipment as very silently the lawyer switched on the recording of the equipment or the ready you can say when the actress paused for breathe the lawyer said to her in between of her saying she took a break for taking breath then lawyer said one minute please and played back the recording and as she stopped in between of her speaking the lawyer start started playing the audio there was nothing incrementing there was nothing incrementing or unmentionably foul about the actress tired against the producer there was nothing illegal you can say for the producer that she spoke but when she heard her voice again through the sound equipment when she heard the audio she was struck dumb she was got surprised a girl from the countryside from the village side she hadn't gone through all the stages of worldly experience she did not have the social experience you can say that generally preceded a position of importance and sof- uh, sophistication that she had found herself catapulted into it means the situation created by the lawyers by recording her voice on the spot such situation the actress never faced she never quite recovered from the terror she felt that day whatever she felt on particular day she never experienced it earlier also that was the end of a brief and brilliant acting career and by this activity and with the responsibility of lawyer you can say she ended her career completely the legal advisor who was also a member of the story department we know it very well who the legal advisor the lawyer had unwittingly brought about that said end
and who was responsible for her acting career the lawyer the legal advisor while every other member of the department wore a kind of uniform the complete store department was in a in a uh, uniform khadi dhoti with a slightly oversized and plumly tailored white khadi shirt this was the dress khadi dhoti in white uh, white shirt the legal advisor wore pants and a tie and sometime a coat that looked like a coat of mail okay so simply so this one was the uniform as we know they used to wear khadi dhoti and white shirt while the lawyer used to wear a tie and a pant and a coat of mail often he looked alone most of the time the lawyer remain alone and helpless because nobody wants to talk to him because of uh, his profession and his uniform dress you can say a man of cold logic in a crowd of dream dreamers all the poets subu and writers all they were dreamers and he was a cold logic he had different kind of approach to deal the situation with a neutral man in an assembly of ganditis and khaditis khadi and gandhi related to do so this was an assembly of a neutral man like so many of those who were close to the boss okay he was allowed to produce a film and though subu was allowed to produce a film okay he was very close to the boss lot of roast talk and pancakes were used in it pancakes means the brand okay not much came of the film then one day the boss closed down the store department and one day this department was ended up and this was perhaps the only instance only example in all human history where a lawyer lost his job because of the poets who were asked to go home now the reason why did ss vasan ended this store department close down this one because unsuitability of lawyer in the department and this one is very important line this is very first time in human history that a lawyer lost his job because of poets because of writers otherwise we can see we can say that poets and pancakes they lost their job because of lawyers because they file a case or they fight case in the court but this is first time in indian history uh, in uh, human history that a lawyer lost his job because of poets <laughs> then gemini studio was the favorite haunt of pe poets like s d yogiar sang subramanyam krishna shastri and hari harindranath chatopadhyay means most of the great poet of that time it was a favorite place gemini studio was a favorite place for them it had an excellent mess which supplied good coffee at all the time of the day throughout the day good kind of coffee they enjoyed and for most of the night and even in the night time those were the days when congress rule meant prohibition and meeting over a cup of coffee and at that time also when congress banned the meeting especially for a cup of coffee was rather satisfying entertainment it was good kind of source of entertainment bearing the office boys and a couple a couple of clerks everybody else at the studios radiated laser a prerequisite for poetry and i my dear children i just tell you this coffee good kind of coffee was allowed for everybody except office boys because they were and clerks okay most of them wore khadi and worshipped gandhi most of them they wore khadi and worshipped gandhi but beyond that they had not the faintest appreciation for political thought of any kind even though they used to wear khadi and they have 
Gandhi thoughts in their mind, but they were not involved or not have any kind of appreciation for political thought process or political activities. Okay, naturally they were all averse to the term communism. Okay, a communist was a godless man, according to this writer. A communist was a godless man. He had no filial or conjugal love. He had no compassion about killing his own parents or his children. A communist can kill his own relatives, kith and kin, you can say, like children and parents. He was always out to cause and spread unrest and violence among innocent and ignorant people. A communist always spread what? Violence and unrest among people. Okay? Then such notions switch, uh, such notion which prevailed everywhere else in South India. At the time in South India it was prevailed, it was spread out throughout South India at the time also. Naturally floated about vaguely among the khadi clad poets of Germany studios. Evidence of it was soon forthcoming. And this particular communist point has been discussed that here there were also some kind of example of communist. Then when Frank Bochaman's moral rearmament, what is this one dear children? This is M R A R like moral rearmament army. Okay, M R A R. Some two hundred strong visited Madras. Two hundred people were there. Sometime in nineteen fifty two. Around 1952, they could not have found a warmer host in India than the Germany studio. And the people of this rearmament army, they did not find a suitable place than Germany studio. Someone called the group an international circus. Somebody called them international circus because of the crowd. They weren't very good in the trapeze and their acquaintance with animals who uh, animals was only at the dinner table. So they were not well acquainted with the animals now. But they presented two plays, but they acted, performed two plays in a most professional manner. Professionally they played two plays. There one was Jotham Valley. Okay. And the forgotten factor. And while staying at Germany studio, the people of rearmament army they played two plays, Jotham Valley and uh, the forgotten factor in Germany studio. Ran several shows in Madras and along with the other citizens of the city, the Germany family of six hundred show the place means. At that time in Germany studio, 600 people were there, saw the place, they enjoyed the place over and over again, again and again. The message of the place were usually plain and simple homilies, the lesson okay, of the place of Jotham Valley of Urban Factor was very simple. But the sets and costumes were first rate, the set of the play and the dress code of the uh, you can say role players was unique. Madras and the Tamil drama community were terribly impressed. The complete Madras and Tamil community they were impressed with the drama or the plays and for some years almost all Tamil plays had a scene of sunrise and sunset in the manner of Jotham Valley with the bare stays, a white background 
curtain and a tune played on the flute what is the meaning of these lines dear children most of the tamil people at that time they were impressed by the plays and as they go to their home after ending of the plays in the morning as they reach from the far distance of their homes so there again it was a time to come back to see the plays so during afternoon they reach at the time reach at their homes and again they start coming back to uh, gemini studio from because it was far distance so and they have observed the uh, this one white stage of jotham valley and a very tune played on the flute okay means they were the early joiners they joined the plays before its beginning so they could observe the scene peacefully it was some years later that i learned that the mra was a kind of con- counter movement to international comedism later the writer came to know that it was a campaign started with international communism and the big bosses of madras like mr vasan simply played into their hands and they like great people like ss vasan played their role i i am not sure however that this was indeed the case for the unchangeable aspect of these big bosses and their enterprises remained the same and later he came to know that it it was just the aspect of these big people like vasis vasan mra or no mra whether it was this armament army or without anyone international communism or no international communism whether it was mra or not mra or international communism or not doesn't matter the staff of gemini studios had a nice time hosting 200 people of all hues and size of at least 20 nationalities so gemini studio people they welcomed these 200 people of rearmament army and they enjoyed a lot and they did not have even a single kind of worry and it was such a change from the usual collection of crowd players waiting to be slapped with thick layers of makeup by the office boy in the makeup departments now this one has been done it was such a change because earlier the crowd was makeuped by office boy but this time this crowd has a great change means now other people also got involved in the makeup of crowd okay so that's all for today we will continue the next day remaining part of this chapter and i hope we will be able to finish this chapter in next video till then take care goodbye